This program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> oh, uh, he's writing. He's writing on Coda. You, you got to put batteries on that thing. Bro, at my size, Coda could probably ride me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my. That's gonna be my intro now for this week's video of you going. <laughs> you should. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> And everybody it's Tuesday we are back on the hunt um, I'm actually here right now outside of bits and buttons because Dominic got something in that I need to pick up which is awesome and I'll show you guys also OG geek is inside the OG of geeks is here so we got to go inside and see what's going on with him since we didn't get to see him last week so um, yeah other than that um, Pretty cool, we got the Spirit Splinter, which you guys saw if you watched Tuesday's video, which is freaking awesome. Um, according to George, that was an epic purchase. Epic purchase. <laughs> so, uh, super excited about that. And uh, yeah, um, we're gonna try to see if we could find the rest of the Masters of the Universe wave, um, because Battle Cat has started showing up and I have the DCPI for that. So I'm gonna hit up some Walmarts and Targets like I always do. Other than that, you know it's me, by the flight of the seat of my pants, we find it, we like it, we buy it, that's how we roll. So let's go inside and see what they got. So we're walking around right now while we're in here. Um, I'm trying to figure out, because I'm here at the Marvel Legends section and I feel like I want something. I mean, I'm here for another figure. I'm here for a, um, a Super 7 uh, Conan the Barbarian figure, which I want to get, which he has for me up front. But I'm looking at these some of these Marvel Legends and there's some here that I don't have that I would like. I just don't know if I want to spend the money right now. That's the thing. So I just got to look through this. Like, I don't have this cable and I want this cable. And I don't have this war machine and I want this war machine. But again, you know, it's it's priorities. You got to you gotta figure out, you know, what you really want. Um, I'm not going to take much time filming in here because obviously you guys just watched this on Tuesday's video. So I'm just giving you guys a quick browse around real, real fast. Not a reach around, a browse around. Um, here's some wrestling stuff. Did they get anything new in at least? I mean, it's only been a couple of days. Uh, there's that NWO and Hogan icon. Oh, all right. Ah, there he is. Bits and buttons himself. The most bitsiest of buttons. <laughs> Doing my wrestling pose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, you gotta go ride uh, Dakota, bro. Oh, you mean Coda? Is it Coda? It's Coda. Well, you gotta jump on him, bro. All right, I'll jump on Coda. You gotta get, I'll you, break the legs on it, get, but... Get OG to take a picture and you can post it, bro. Yeah, be like, this is what happens with all the shit at Bits and Buttons. Yeah, bro. You yeah. get to ride that. You yeah. get to ride that. Yeah, thing. ride it and then have, uh, what is it, uh, Dwork in my hand. Yeah. Yeah. With a cowboy hat on. <laughs> Just with tidy whities, bro. Nice. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the uh, the Journey Gargano, El Torito, Bo Dallas, it's Daniel Bryant, Santino down there. Um, and I think I think that's it. You know, guys, I'm actually thinking about maybe starting to pick back up some of these. Um, Hasbro retro figures. Reminds me of a better time in my childhood, to be honest with you. And then we got some other ones here, and yeah. So, all right, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Um, I just wanted to kind of quick take a quick peek, look around, because I want to hit up some WalMarts and Targets instead. Um, however, I am gonna pick up that Conan figure. Um, I'll show you guys a better look at that when I get home. And then, where is he? He's hiding around here somewhere. Where is he? Where is he? Where's he hiding? There he is, everybody. It's the OGest of geeks. What's up? There he is. Okay. He's here. What's going on, bro? I know he's been here for like an hour. I know, I know, but, but I miss you. You get to hang out with Mrs. Bits and Buttons. Oh, Mrs. Bits. Yeah. 
She likes buttons. Now we got other good deals. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, she doesn't know the prices. She doesn't know the pricing, so we could take advantage. Yeah, she's like $5. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Sold. I'm going to offer her 500 for that right there. Is that what? Yeah, offer 500 for that. Oh, yeah. So they actually picked this up over the weekend. Look at this thing. This is freaking Jabba's sail barge. I know George is going to want I know George is going to want this thing. This thing is freaking epic. <laughs> oh, he's writing. He's writing on Coda. You, you got to put batteries on that thing. Bro, I, at my size, Coda could probably ride me, bro. <laughs> That's gonna be my that's gonna be my intro now for this week's video of you going. You should. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> this is the kind of shenanigans that happen to bits and buttons, everybody. Behind, behind the scenes when the door is closed. Yeah. Oh, you missed it. You missed, uh, it. Oh, you missed him writing the dino. I ain't writing anything again. That's alright. I'll put stuff on. Hey. I mean, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm gonna break it, but. <laughs> you ride the dino. Oh, that's gonna be my intro. <laughs> sorry, friend. sorry, Coda. All right, guys. So just a short visit today, however, from the OGest of geeks. He needs to get back to where, I guess, wherever you came from. I mean, you have a house now. I'm actually proud of him. He has a house now. He has a docile, a dwelling. He has a roof over his head. No more Airbnbs. If you watched his Instagram live stream, you would know he has a house. No more Airbnbs. You're not homeless I've, anymore. I've never been homeless. I technically <laughs> have two houses now. I'm nowhere near homeless. I got a house on each coast of Florida. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of him. He made it, folks. How can you still make jokes? I don't care. Because <laughs> it's fun and people <laughs> like it. So, buddy, it sucks that I only get to see you for like a few minutes. You weren't busy tomorrow. We could hunt tomorrow. We'll be here. Oh, we, yeah. Well, I can't. I can't. We have, I know, the, I know. we have the collecting news. I got to keep to my schedule. <laughs> so, all right, guys. I'm going to go say goodbye to Mike, and then I'm going to continue on the hunt. I got to figure out where we're going to hit up next. But as always, it's so hard to say goodbye to the OGs, the geeks. Yeah! And thank you for watching. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you at whatever store I go to next. Alright guys, so I'm actually here right now um, outside of Shop Pop Florida. I actually haven't been here since they opened and I was actually passing by and I was like, you know what? Let's go inside and see if they got anything that I might be looking for. So let's go inside and check it out. Guys, we're inside right now and here's some Masters of the Universe. We got Zodak and Triclops. We got some of these reaction turtle figures. So we got Raphael, Donatello, Leonardo, Bebop, Space Cadet Raph, Sewer Surf and Mike. We got foot soldiers behind there. Here's some uh, WWE. We got what some Series 84. We got Seamus, Sasha. We got some Are basics. Here's some uh, Halo stuff. Here's some DC. We got Batman, we got the, oh, I'm sorry, Earth One, Batman, and Superman. Give a little zoom in. We got some G.I. Joe stuff. Oh, look at that. The NECA Catwoman. Oh, that's nice. Look at that portrait of Michelle Pfeiffer. That's nice. And he's got the penguin, which is really cool. Here's some more statue stuff. Cool, cool. And we got the Hulk, the Hulk bus down there. And some of those uh, play art variant figures is Captain America and Spider Man. Got some Beast Kingdom stuff. Spider Man bust. Here's a 3 0 premium Megatron from uh, the Bayformers. Got some Marvel Legends over here. We got Lady Deathstrike. We got Scarlet Witch, Vision. Ooh, the new She-Hulk. I will probably wind up be grabbing that. Wind up grabbing, grabbing one of those. We got the uh, Beast. Got some Dragon Ball figures. Here's some Black Series stuff. Got Bo-Katan, Leia, Armorer, Han, Jar Jar. Here's some three and three quarters. Here's a. Uh, K2SO, Han, 
There's Captain Rex. There's a Tusken Raider. And then we're coming over here. Here's the Lego stuff. So we got the Yoda. Or not, it's Baby Yoda. Got the TIE Fighter, the Millennium Falcon, the Kylo Ren, the Charger, the Ferrari, the Lambo, the Bugatti. And we're also having a Lego Day on July 10th. So they're going to be building Beatles, uh, Beatles stuff, which is kind of cool. So come check that out if you guys are in the South Florida area. They're doing a Build Lego Free Community Day. Come check that out. Uh, we got... DeLorean, we got some of the Lego busts, some Mission Fleet stuff. Oh, here you go. Here's some Pokemon cards. There you go. For you guys that are on the hunt for Pokemon, there's some Pokemon. There's the uh, Gray Skull Mania Arena with Triple H and Cena. Uh, let's see. Here's, again, this Lego Lambo. It's awesome. We got the, uh, the AT AT. Here's the uh, the R2 D2. This is the one that George is currently working on, on the Lego Lounge. Comes with that little cool plaque. We got some Funko sodas over here. Anything interesting? Then obviously your wall of pops. So for any of you guys that are interested in Funkos, they've got them by the dozen. So. All right, I'm going to continue to look around. Obviously, if I buy anything, I'll let you guys know, and I'll see you uh, I'll see you soon. All right, guys, I am here right now outside of Super Target. So let's go inside and get super depressed. Guys, we're down the figure aisle right now. Here's a bunch of Chinas. We got Macho Man and Edge. There's a Santana. Uh, nothing for Black Series. We got some He-Man and Skeletor. We have a Buzzsaw or Hordak. Uh, let's see. We got some Jurassic World stuff over here. Let's see what's on the other side. Uh, here is some DC stuff. We got Robin King, Superman. We got Batman, Wonder Woman, so we got those, no G.I. Joes, we got some Ghostbusters and nothing for Transformers, some Power Rangers stuff, and nothing but Shang-Chi. So, that is fun. Uh, Alright, well... Let's go check out the NECA Funko section. Right, so we're at the NECA Funko section. Here's some Dragon Ball stuff, some anime stuff, My Hero, Gundam Builder Kits, got Billy Eyelash, we got some reaction figures, uh, got more McFarlane stuff, Gorilla Grodd, uh, Witcher, Dune, here's some more pops, got the, uh, some of the, do they got the, uh, the Doc Brown, King Kong, all the usual horror stuff we see, the Toonie Terrors, and Elvis, and we got a Flash Gordon, and that seems to be about it. So, alright, well, with that being said, this is my last stop for the day. I spent too much time at the other places talking with everybody, so uh, yeah, I'm going to head back home right now. I'll show you what I picked up, and uh, I'll see you in a few. Alright guys, and I am back home so let me show you what I picked up. So we went to Bits and Buttons. Now we um, we went to Bits and Buttons for two reasons, obviously. One, to go to Bits and Buttons, because I love to go to Bits and Buttons. And second of all, OG Geek was there. And we got to see my buddy, even if it was just for a couple of minutes. So it was good to see him. Um, I know he's not going to be in town this weekend, but I'll hopefully pick it back up and see him again the following weekend. So again, it'll be cool. He's got a bunch of stuff going on. So, you know, he snuck a few minutes in to come see me while he was in the area. And then... Bits and Buttons, they posted that they got the Super 7 Conan the Barbarian figures in. I didn't even know these things existed. And he sent me a picture of one and I was like, yo, I gotta have it. So I went down to the store and I grabbed it. Uh, I grabbed two of them actually. So one of them is actually Conan, which I'll show you guys right now real fast. And I love these boxes. 
because it's like they're they're almost made to look like they're uh, you know like leather and whatnot which is really cool and then there's Conan the Barbarian which is awesome so the paint on this looks a little weird and so does the portrait but it's still a cool it's still a cool figure and and, and I like and I like Conan the Barbarian listen I like anything from the 80s basically that's just my thing so this is freaking awesome and then he had another one so apparently there's waves and I didn't realize there were waves so I'm gonna have to play catch up now on these he had um Rexor uh too so and thank god I saw this because this was the last one so I wanted to make sure I got it this is another character and this thing is freaking epic the suit the portrait the weapons all that is really cool so we're gonna have to uh maybe do some uh, figure reviews on on these conan figures but super cool and i'm glad i was able to snag those which is cool so again always a pleasure getting to go hang out with my man mikey and hanging out with my man dom over at bits and buttons so thank you bits and buttons much appreciated so and then we went to um, one of the newer stores, which I haven't been to since I did the store tour, we went to um, Shop Pop Florida, which was great. Um, always getting to see Colton, which is fun because Colton's such a cool guy. And they had something that I wanted that I haven't seen out in stores yet. So we picked up the new uh, She-Hulk Marvel Legend, which is awesome. And I love the coloring that they did on this one. The green on this one is so much better than the original one that was more grayish which came out i think with the fantastic four wave and i really like the other portrait that they gave which is cool because it's the more angry she's snarling she's mad but this is awesome so we grabbed that then we actually got a mail call so obviously i appreciate everyone that watches the videos that i put out and people are always messaging me if I need this, if I found it. So it turned out at the time that this gentleman messaged me, his name is Mark Huffman. So thank you, Mark, again for reaching out. I appreciate it. I did not have it in hand, but I did find it later afterwards at the Target. So he um, he went ahead and sent me this really cool figure. Um, I already have it, but I appreciate you, Mark, doing that out of the kindness of your heart. Ooh, and we got a letter. I like letters. I like letters awesome so let's see what we got hey brother just wanted to say how much I enjoy the content MCE puts out I look forward to all of them each week I found this one in the fort uh, can't make that out but Colorado while I was on the road working had watched your latest hunt episode at the motel got inspired and went to Walmart and they had had like the entire wave anyway glad to help out keep doing what you do mark mark huffman sawyer stash 2019 and yeah i bought the wave lol so mark thank you so much man i love when you guys put letters and stuff that you send me because it's awesome because you know what you guys take the time to reach out to me and, and i appreciate that because it's like you know i never expect anything in return um i just like to have fun with this and i'm glad you guys enjoy the content and i'm glad you guys reach out to talk to me so thank you so much, Mark. Much appreciated. And oh, Mark included something else in there too. Another goodie. <laughs> Here's a good one. He sent a comic of the thing. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. That's awesome. Thank you, Mark. And then also last but not least, which Mark did a fantastic job of pack packaging this. So again, one thing I also enjoy too is to see what other collectors' um, packing habits are like. Because some people just throw it in the box and they're like, man, whatever. And then other people just, you know, actually take the time and care and bubble wrap it and everything like that. So he actually sent me the AIM Scientist, even though we found it last week. But Mark, thank you so much for sending this. It's much appreciated. And I really love the note and the thing comic. <laughs> this is great. I love this. I'm going to show this to my wife. So, guys, that is going to wrap up my Tuesday. Um, tomorrow's Wednesday. I plan on picking it back up after work. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah, it's popping, everybody. It's Wednesday, and we are back on the hunt. 
So I am here right now outside of Target. We're gonna go inside and see if they got anything new. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun, see if we find any cool stuff and uh, go from there. So again, super excited that I got those uh, Conan Super 7 figures. But like I said yesterday, I'm gonna have to track down the rest and uh, see if we could find them and uh, yeah. You know, again, fly by the seat of my pants. That's how I roll. So let's go into Target and see if they got anything. Guys, we're down the figure aisle right now. Got a bunch of AI Tony Starks, some of the House of X Wave, Shang Chi. Got some Modox. What do we got? We got Electra, Iron Man's. Uh, I got some Power Ranger stuff. Got that pumpkin wrapper, the Sphinx. Some Ghostbusters, we got a Cobra Commander. Here's some Transformers stuff. What do we got? Rhinox, Cyclonus, Optimus Primal. Got a bunch of Batman stuff. Jesus. Zorro Joker. Gorilla Grodd. Uh, here's some wrestling stuff. Uh, let's see what's around the corner. Here's some Jurassic World stuff. You guys can see. Uh, let's see. Here's some Masters of the Universe, but it's just Skeletor and He-Man's. Some Mission Fleet stuff. Battle Cat, Prince Adam and the Sky Slid. And wrestling stuff. So we got China's Edges, Keith Lee, Finn Balor's. So that is about it. So, all right, uh, let's go check out the NECA Funko section. All right, so here is some Billie Eilish. Here's the uh, new Ultimate Doc Brown. Got some Warhammer stuff, Flash, some Mego stuff, uh, Spawn, Witcher. Got a little restock on Zrax and Zork, looks like. Uh, let's see, got some kits, some Funko stuff. Uh, is that uh, uh, Ted back there? Uh, Jason masks, Superman predators, uh, people dropping stuff. Uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, Sarah Connor. And that seems to be about it. So, all right, well, let me figure out where I'm gonna go next and I'll see you guys once I get there. All right, guys, we are here right now outside of another Target, but it's a super Target. So let's go inside and get super depressed. Guys, we're down the figure all right now. Got some Batman stuff. We got Dinobot. Warpath, RC, there's Blur, got some Ghostbusters, not much for Power Rangers. Uh, let's see, we got some Shang-Chi stuff, we got Katie, Shang-Chi, uh, who else we got? We got a bunch of the AI Tony, Civil Warrior, we got Death Dealer, uh, we got the Hood, who is that, is that Wenwu? Uh, let's see, We've got some wrestling figures over here. Uh, here's two I haven't seen yet. Angel Garza and Zelina Vega, but she's not with them anymore, so it's kind of funny to see a figure of her out. Um, we got Cena's and China's. Um, got Grief. Uh, here's some Mission Fleet stuff. Oh, look at that. Got Keldor and, uh, Keldor and Kronos. The Origins 2-Pack. Uh, we got Battle Cat and Panthor. Uh, there's Hordax, Skeletor, and He-Man's back there. Uh, here's some of the Jurassic World stuff. And that is about it. So, all right. Uh, let's go take a look at the NECA Funko section. All right, so we're here at the NECA Funko section. There's some King Kongs, Back to the Future Gremlins. Got some Toonie Terrors. Looks like Ghostface is missing his head. Uh, let's see, you got some reaction back to the future figures. There's Wonder Woman's, the Witcher, uh, what Ninja Turtle one's hiding behind here? Uh, Michelangelo. Uh, 
yeah not much in this section not much and they got a uh, a wrecker which is pretty cool but uh, other than that that is it guys so uh yeah all right well let me figure out where i'm gonna go next obviously i know where that is because right down the street from here is a walmart and we're gonna go check that out all right guys we are here right now outside of walmart uh let's go inside and see what they got i doubt they're gonna have anything because they usually don't the shelves are always bare but you know there's always that one time where i say that and then we find something so <laughs> all right let's go inside and see what they got all right guys we're here at the figure section right now here's some jurassic world stuff some of those metal gi joe figures some halo stuff uh we got the ghost popper kong vs godzilla the retro ghostbusters here's some marvel legends we got the shang chi and Mora Taggart, we got uh, the Mega Supreme, we got Professor X, there's the hood. Uh, not much for Batman. Uh, we got the Black Series Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi. Uh, we got some of the Red Series Transformers. We got uh, Brian Oxes and Cyclonus. Uh, Oh, I guess for all you Power Rangers fans out here, I guess the, the what is it, the, uh, the Tango Warriors? These are actually pretty cool looking. So, uh, see what else. Uh, we got wrestling over here. So it's like we got the Ultimate Warrior, Goldberg. We got Kane, Stephanie McMahon, uh, Ricochet, Andrade. Andrade's on clearance for five bucks. And, uh... That is really about it. So, all right, well, uh, let's go check out the NECA Funko section. Yay! Guys, we're down the NECA Funko section right now. There's a bunch of Deadpools, 10 inch Joker, some other miscellaneous pops. Uh, we got some fig pins, some other miscellaneous figures. There's some Dragon Ball stuff, some Migos. Uh, we got Batman, we got some Q figs. Space Jam Bendy Figs, uh, Willy Wonka, got Gremlins, Ghost Faced, uh, Q Figs, some of these uh, statues and busts. So, what do we got? The Deadpool, there's Wolverine and Magneto. And yeah, that's about it, guys. So, not much at this neck of Funko section. Empty, 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 empty is the word. So, like I said, there's never anything at Walmart. All right. I'm headed over to another Target right now to see what they got, and I'll see you once I get there. All right, guys, I am here right now outside of my final stop of the day. Here is another super Target for us to go inside and check out. So let's go. Down the figure out right now, here's the uh, Ultimate Edge, the WrestleMania Edge, China, Alexa Bliss, uh, Bianca Belair, Drake Maverick, uh, the Slammin' Cycle, the Wreck the slambulance uh we got a cool wheel and a grief uh ooh, we got another uh two pack the rise of evil uh we got he-mans and one skeletor back there um here's some jurassic world stuff not much in the way of that uh let's go around the corner and see what's here we got some Batman stuff. We got the unmasked uh, Thomas Wayne. We got Wonder Woman, King Rob, Batman, Superman, I believe. Is this the whole set? Yeah, you only need four to build the uh, the Batman. What is it? The Dark Father. Da, da, da. So, pretty cool. Uh, we got Cyclonus and Dinobot. And then we got the Ultra Magnus down there. Um, Power Rangers stuff, uh, one Ghostbuster, no G.I. Joe, here's some Marvel Legends, which is the uh, Shang-Chi stuff, we got a uh, Baron Zemo right there, so that is about it, um, alright, well, I'm not having any luck today, uh, let's go check the NECA Funko section. We are at the NECA Funko section right now, and here's some anime stuff and some Gundam kits and Dragon Ball kits. Got Billy Eyelash, 
some reaction figures. Uh, we got the Witcher, the Flash, some Warhammer, Spawn. There's a bunch of Pops. Got a Homelander. There's Omega. Um, Goonies. It's Rick and Morty. Mighty Ducks. Uh, Godzilla. Some Chia Pet stuff. And here's the NECA stuff. So it's like Gremlins, Back to the Future. All the regular horror stuff we see. So nothing special in that way, shape, or form. So, however, I did take a quick trip down the Lego section and I am going to pick something up. I got this last week from um, a subscriber, Justin. He sent me the uh, the Lego Hulkbuster. So I found out there's more Lego Hulkbusters. So here's another Lego Hulkbuster. So you guys know me in Hulkbuster. I, I have to have it because it's Hulkbuster. So all right, I'm going to go pick this up. I will head home. I'll give you a better look at the Lego I picked up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few. All right, guys, and I am back home. So went to a couple of Targets, went to a Walmart. Finally had a little success at the last Target we went to. You guys know I have like a total obsession with Hulkbuster. So when I saw this down the Lego aisle, I had to pick it up. It's another Lego Hulkbuster. Look at that thing. That's pretty sweet. Legos! Lego Hulkbuster. And of course you guys know I have an obsession with Hulkbuster because well, I've got two of them sitting right there. So also, I want to give a special shout out to my man Karad. So Karad's dad actually reached out to me and said, hey, could you give Karad a shout out? You know, he's a huge fan. Me and him watch your hunts all the time. So Karad, thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for supporting, man. I appreciate that you and your dad watch the videos together. That's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, hope you're having a good time, Karad. So there you go. Um, so yeah, so hopefully, uh, dad, if you're watching, that helps you earn some brownie points with your son. So, <laughs> so don't, don't worry, man. Anytime I can do anything like that to help anybody out, give somebody a shout out, just shoot me a message. I do not mind doing that at all. So I hope you enjoy Karad. And again, thanks for support and thanks for you and your dad for watching. So guys, that is going to wrap up another hunt video for this week. And if you like what you saw again, Give a thumbs up if you're new please be sure to subscribe and as always be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of what's popping gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure as always you can check out all the excellent content we offer right here at mce and until next time guys that's what's popping hulk buster